Hello and welcome to XCOM 2, a Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saik and we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty and this is month number 7 of beta 1 of the mod. It is time to continue our purge in South Africa. I already mentioned we have liberated uh, the entirety of Africa. Now it is uh, up to us to kind of get some more uh, resources going in South Africa and uh, bring the war to the aliens here in South Africa. It's great. I, I really like where it's going so far, but we need to collect more intel to further expand and also kind of make our way to the actual Black Side mission to start doing storyline missions. So that's good. Today we're going to look at a nice little neat mission where we're using one of our low level teams. Um, we got our spark here, our Secundo spark, the white one. Got a sharpshooter, a grenadier and a shinobi. No healing on this one, plus two rookies. Um, so all we need to do is kill 12 enemies and uh, specifically neutralize an advent target. Uh, problem is that that's going to raise attention. So let's see how this is going to play out. Good, we landed. Oh, we can, uh, it's a capture the VIP mission. Now that makes sense. We don't need to just kill him. I actually need to extract him. But yeah, that's that's going to be fine. What could possibly go wrong? We started high co uh, with high cover. So that's great in itself. Let's do some Oscar Mike. We have 23 rounds. Might as well want to use them efficiently. Enemy squad located. There is a drone over there and we don't have any specialists, so it's not like we can do anything about it. Rookies are going to be moving up. And our target for now is simply to essentially get as far as possible. The rooftop here gives us a great amount of cover. That's really helpful and thanks to Oscar Mike. We're fine. Good. Like I said, 12 enemies. So we already know one is a drone, which is good. And it's even flying away, which is better. So let's use our rookie to spot out and see what we're dealing with. Do the same on the other side. Our gunner. Enemy squad located. Drone is not the problem, but the triple mutant definitely is an issue. Closing on target position now. Good. We're going to steady our weapon. And let's move everyone into position. Ten four. Good. Covering now. Scanning. Easy enough. The pack moves away, which is too bad. Probably could have um, could have engaged on them, but it's fine. There's another one down here. So that's three, four, five, eight. 
and then there's probably another pack or two small other packs. We do not have Bladestorm, so just dropping down and hitting all of them is not an option. Hmm. I mean, we get death from above, and we probably would be able to one shot the drone. One thing that we certainly can do is we could pull them with a flashbang. I noticed if you pull packs with a flashbang, they tend to not move. Which is great if you ask me. And since the rookies here really don't have anything better to do. We might as well just want to overwatch with both of them. Ah, you know what? If they don't move, the overwatch will not trigger. So let's only take one overwatch for now and see if I was right. It's definitely not a bad start. Good, let's deal with a drone. Take death from above. That's good. And we're going to use the death from above to essentially steady our weapon. That's good. Perfect. Why is that full cover? That does not make any sense. These guys are certainly beefy. So we got to be a bit careful. And one of them has armor. Instead of now giving up our position, I think the most damage that we could deal with would be the grenade plus it shreds the armor. Might look a little bit wasteful to take two grenades, but we only have 12 enemies, re remember that, so I think we're fine in terms of our usage of consumables. Moreover, it's going to put our good friend the Stun Lancer into a really tough situation. Yeah, I think we're going to take the cover here. Just in case we're pulling another pack, I don't want to risk anything. Not the greatest damage, but I already know how we're going to finish both of them. Which is by... Moving that way. Which should not trigger any other packs. Then it's a matter of overdrive. And some answer definitely goes first. Damn. It's close.
Hmm. I don't want to take any damage, and we're anyways going to pull those guys next turn. So might as well kill this guy. Advanced auto loader is good. The smart Mark of, uh, Mark of Fox are okay as well. They heard the explosion, so they are definitely going to join. There we go. All of them heavily armored. And they are clustering up, which is great. Plus double overwatch, so that's going to be a grenade. Hmm, why wouldn't we be able to hit that shot? But we would be able to hit a flashbang. So that's a shot we would be able to hit. Oh, that's uh, one that we would hit as well. Okay, good enough. I would definitely want to shred them. And it'll probably take away the cover. Nice. Very high chance to actually kill this guy. Moving into a holo target to make sure we're not missing the Centurion. She could be our grenade user. Could move up to here. Won't get us the loot, but we would get a shot into an open target, which I think is worth it. Come on, let's hit. Ah, rookies. Always a pleasure. This here looks like as if it would be able to see both of them. The answer is yes, that's true. Let's see if we can crit him. Fortunately not. Getting a little bit closer. I'm still hoping to eliminate the Centurion here. Another 90% shot that missed. Good, everyone gets protection against potential incoming grenades. Fortunately, we can't give an action to the mech. Hmm. 
I rather prefer to use a flashbang grenade. We had our chance to kill him. And we messed it up. Taking fire over here. Whoa. In good old mutant fashion, they are not even flinching or moving. He's standing in the open and he just does not give a fuck whatsoever. The Centurion is not going to have it. 98% shot and we're grazing. That is disgraceful. Reloading. Come on. <laughs> you, know, you won't get it much more on a silver platter than that. Seriously. Don't want to get any closer. I don't like the weapon range um, reduction, but it's still fine. I'm running low on ammo. Hmm, 66%. I think we're going to keep our shredder for now. Begin reload sequence. Targeting sensor malfunction. We're taking the loot. Worst possible loot, unfortunately. Orders confirmed on the move. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Might want to take full cover here, but that is still a flanking position. Yeah, we gotta get back into cover. Half cover all around. Let's get to here, which means at least the Viper needs to double move in order to see us. Mind you, this is in to full cover. All right. all right, maybe the Viper does not need to move at all. Seventy and only fifty fifty. No, 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 we're going for him. I think the fifty fifties are the best we could get at this point. I mean, theoretically, we could shred him, but that would probably be wasteful. Moving over here. 
Just to get a bit of distance. There's the shredding. Great. Now time to finish this guy. 50-50, come on. Didn't work out. This team here has a hard time dealing with them. We'll probably need a flashbang for the mutant elite. Another 50-50. Moving on target location. All right, let's kill him. We could either go on and take a shot here, or we're setting the weapon, which I think is the better choice. This won't solve our problem with the mutant, at least not completely, but it will at least make his chances of hitting way worse. No chance of hitting him. Now we're hunkering down. Whoa. Oh, look at that, they can shoot twice. That's a bummer. All right, moving up. They have a pretty solid position there. This here should at least shred him and get rid of his uh, his armor. Shit, it only hit the shields. That is not good. Good. He might, he might decide to go into melee with us, which wouldn't be the worst decision, because we do have retaliation. Yeah, we're not going to take a six percent shot. We have a zero percent shot, might as well hunker down. Got another flashbang. The mutant elite is, uh, elite is actually a big problem. Hunkering down, he's probably going to throw a grenade. War cries himself. Cavalry 
Enemies are incoming. Good, we need to overdrive in order to even shred him. This guy is massive. Affirmative. Trying to not pull anything else. Well, it's hopefully shredding him. Nice. So far, so good. Still zero percent. I think he does not have another grenade, but I might be totally wrong with that. Come on. Okay, we're hopefully provoking an attack, a uh, melee attack from him. I'm not even sure how we how we're supposed to beat this guy. I mean, the normal mutants were scary, but we could deal with them. This guy is just straight up insanely armored. Of course, I take the wrong target. Uh, such a fallacy to to assume we we could hurt him with melee attacks because we can't. Come on. By the way, even when we're flanking him, we only have a 50-50. Think about that. It's crazy, right? Seventy-seven percent, okay. Well, the best thing that I can do is make sure that we're not taking more grenades. And maximize uh, the damage. Which in this case would be... Using our magnetic rifle. killed the mech. Continues to ignore... He continues to ignore our melee um, soldiers. Straight up missed a 90% shot. That's bad. Alright, reload. Move 
spinning. Just think about it. The amount of pressure that that guy absorbed. Incredible. Soon we're going to see more reinforcements. We gotta go and get out of here. I like the high ground, it would be really helpful against Advent. But we're not fast enough. And unfortunately, we just triggered them. Oh shit, plus a drone. Well, okay. This is going to be rough. Fortunately, we don't have blade storm, so it's going to hurt. Expected that. Ouch. <laughs> it's not looking good. Okay, re. Ah, we can't retaliate. Uh, his melee attack does not work like the normal melee, atta okay. melee attacks, unfortunately. Alright, no time to back up now. Sergeant is the most dangerous enemy. This goes wrong, we're anyway screwed, so might as well stand in the open. Can't move up in order to see any one of these guys, so closest so that we could get is probably a movement to here and taking a long shot. This might kill the faces one. Good, faces one down, that's good. And we got the reinforcements down. So let's think about it. How, how many did we kill? Started with a pack here. Pack of three. 
drone four, pick of two, that's six, pick of three, that's nine, faces one ten. Reinforcements don't count, that would be thirteen. So there is still one more pack. This is a long way to get out of here. Uh, oh, that's a long way. Okay, so. It doesn't matter. We gotta do it. Good to go. Yep, there is one more pack. Can jam if needed. Rolling. Looks like you're coming with us. Very nice. How is he just running away? Are you kidding me? Good, moving up. I'm all over it. Not really great positioning. I'm aware of that. Back Proceeding to target. At that position located. That's not bad because uh, that means we might as well have killed all of the enemies. Yep, there's the last one. Alright, where is... that face this one? Probably somewhere over here. Good, we're moving up. On the move. And thanks to our training, we're definitely going to use the jammer ability. Just going to delay the reinforcements for one more turn. Alright, time for some sleepy sleepy. Let's carry him. And we're going to get the hell out of here. Good. Snipers are really bad with Overwatch, so might as well start with him. And I think we're fine. by simply finishing him. Yep, that works. So now, the whole question is going to be how do we 
React regarding the reinforcements. Let's position properly. Overwatch. Reload. And Overwatch. I'm hoping we can kill one of them. Unfortunately, Bladestorm is not yet on our um, Shinobi. Otherwise, this would have been a really nice drop. We have another flashbang, yes we do. What a bad idea, I think. All right, moving completely out of line of sight. Sniper moves out of line of sight. I have two hit points, it's too risky to do anything. Initiating remote interface. So that would like give us control over one of them, meaning they can focus on hitting this guy. Perfect. That's the, that was the best potential uh, creature that we could have taken over. Good shit. Everyone's disoriented. Solid copy. Moving away. And moving away. Okay, so I already know who's who the guy is going to be that's just taking all of the overwatch. Well, let's just kill this guy. Can't leave with a mech yet because uh, that would probably end the mind control. We don't want that to happen. Whatever you say. Affirmative. Roger that. 
All right. Overwatch. Let's get him out of here. The max stays. Indeed, we can use Rattler. Gunner is going to get out of here. Make overwatches. And there are even more reinforcements, luckily for us. We're almost out of here. Much harder mission than I would have expected. <laughs> yeah, focus on that trooper, guys. Give it to him. He betrayed you. Okay, we got everyone out of here. With the exception of the trooper. But it's a hard knock life, so too bad for him. Take away. Elite mutants are definitely not a pushover. That was super hard. <laughs> Our missions are looking terrible. Wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded, but at least three promotions. So let's take a look here. We got a nice little promotion for a gunner. I like it. Not too bad. Big Daddy got his promotion. We got Death from Above and Center Mars. I mean, there's really not so much that we can do differently. Yes, Lone Wolf or Precise Shot both would work. Could also go Dem uh, Good Ground and Lone Wolf if we want to maximize his to hit chance. But at the end, it's a very similar kind of playstyle. He's going to sit on a rooftop and we'll just snipe people. And we got ourselves another technician. Great. Good job. That's great. I like the level. He also has smoker and boosted cores and volatile mix so maybe we're actually making kind of a grenadier out of him if we could bring him up to salvo smoker boosted cores extra rocket salvo volatile mix i can see potential in in that character Good, we got an LRM core, a good PCS, a bad PCS, and an advanced outloader, which is always helpful. And we got ourselves a negative trade, which clearly is not helpful. Yeah, and probably we should continue just continuing uh, to speed up the healing process. Now that here is a bonus soldier. And... I'm not going to deny the opportunity to get one. Okay, six days. Yeah, that's going to work. And start liberating the region. Oh yeah, perfect. It's a great mission. Hell yeah, that's a good mission. Let me find a good team. Perfect, I found a really nice uh, team. So we got a couple of uh, rookies here, squaddy, corporal. These here are rookies uh, with kind of different build orders. Uh, that's the one, uh, the assault that is using trench uh, gun and uh, the slug shot. So kind of uses the uh, shotgun on medium range almost. Uh, not yet 100% a fan of this build, but maybe I'm 
also playing it wrong. Um, we got a smoke with him and we got a flashbang here, so that's fine. Uh, got lights out, one of our upcoming snipers. Uh, she's the one with them high grid ground and lone wolf, so she maximizes uh, to hit. Um, I'm putting our prime spark bishop here, uh, though it's not fully repaired, but it, it gets some shield on top of it, so I think we're show uh, going to be fine. And we're still going to make uh, over 100% infiltration, so those guys will easily be able to deal with uh, 7 to 9 enemies. Not even going to be a problem. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Good, we got another recruit here. Let's continue recruiting. And I think we just wanted to get our soldier. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, with the missions in uh, the United States and South America, we're getting some new recruits and some fresh blood. So I really like where this is going. Smash and grab, six days, absolutely fine. It's an easy mission to get some extra loot. And there we go. The team is set up. Should be a really easy mission only. Baseline of 10 to 12. Uh, we got a, some en enemy material. I chose a quick team, so frontline uh, with uh, Shinobi, uh, some cover removal, some good deep, uh, deep, solid DPS support and some range DPS with aftermath here. So we should be fine. And look at that, just perfect timing. Fully infiltrated, still got 12 enemies, uh, but yeah, that's probably going to be a difficult mission. Fully Full squaddy team, but I think we're going to be fine. Anyways, that's going to happen in the next mission, guys. I'm looking forward for it. By the way, what was the reward again? Ah, resistance personnel and a few rookies. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, nothing absolutely crazy, but still good. It's a good start. We would have a full roster, a uh, full resistance operation uh, down there. If we look at our overall roster, we're actually doing quite well. I am playing a lot with the new rookies just to get them kind of up to speed. As you can see, a lot of them are infiltrating specifically on the easier missions. Um, yeah, and the more senior uh, soldiers currently retraining, sometimes um, recovering. They will very soon, once the Covert Ops mission is over, um, have their next target, which is the Warlock. And so I'll keep them... I'll keep them ready in case something comes up. If you enjoyed the mission, uh, leave a comment and a like down below. You know the drill. And uh, thank you so much for your attention. See you in the next mission. Bye-bye.